Friends, recently very good pullback rally happened in Indian stock market. And if you see, Indian Nifty is again at a level of around 16,300. Now, it has come almost around 10% pullback rally from the lower which is made almost three weeks back, that is around 15,000. So that shows that uh, there is a good reversal in the trend. And even if you see the FII is also now reducing their selling exposure, correct? Even DII is buying a lot. So that shows that yes, there is a little bit pullback rally. Now let us understand what is the reason and why it is being created. And what are the future prospects of Indian stock market in coming 2-3 months? So talking about this, let me first of all welcome you. My name is C.A. Tapan Doshi. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe it and like this video. So talking about Indian stock market. If you see, one of the main reason why it is a good pullback rally is because of the oil prices. Oil prices, as you are aware, it, from 125, it has gone, gone down to below 100 at one point of time, almost a week back. Now it is around 106 dollar, 105 dollar. But yes, because of recent drop in the crude oil prices, the actually the metal prices across the world has fallen a lot. And if the energy prices are falling, then it is a big positive for Indian stock market. You are aware that we are almost 85 to 90 percent that importer of crude oil across the world correct and that is the reason our import bill is a big one and it is creating a big inflation pressure in india so if this inflation goes down it's a good for indian economy and that is the reason because of this uh, uh, commodity product prices going down it is giving a big bump, bump up to our indian stocks basically and now talking about Indian stocks, so if you see there is a pullback rally in FMCG and many uh, auto stocks and everyone. And the reason is simple that if the energy prices and oil prices goes down, of course the raw material prices go down and that, that it is directly beneficial to the FMCG companies. Even for the auto stocks, if you see the oil prices because it is falling known, that raw material prices is going down correct even the steel prices and other components whatever they are using various metals in their production and because their prices are down their raw material prices are going down and that is a big beneficial to the auto stocks now we have to understand whether this rally whichever is happened from 15,000 to 16,300 is it sustainable well the answer is actually in the oil prices if the oil prices remain at a lower at a level around hundred dollar then it will remain positive for india but yes of course if it again goes down to goes up to around 120 dollar then it is a problem for indian stock market also that so that thing we have to keep in mind what is happening in the energy prices again talking about fil now, FII, if you see, they were a net seller, even actually they sold around 3.5 lakh crores in last eight months, not 3.5, around 3.3 lakh crores. Now, actually against the DII has bought around 2.9 lakh crores. So almost it is offset by the DII. Now this FII selling pressure is going down. One of the reason is that yes, it dollar index has gone to a peak it is around 100 and 109 and even if you see dollar is around 80 rupees correct now this is at a higher level but now people are saying that 80 around 80 is a high it's a high time it may go down and that is the reason what is happening fi pressure is started going down now that is a big positive again it has been said that in us us is already is in recession now if the recession is already factored by the US stock market, then it may not go down uh, from here also. But see, understand, all depends on the Fed policy. Now, Fed policy, it has been said that they may increase the interest rate by almost 0.75 basis point to 1% in the next July meeting. Now, this is a speculation. We don't know whether it will happen or not. But this is having a pressure on us stock market but most of the people are saying that yes us stock market has already considered the complete recession fears in that country again europe 
is also fa uh, falling a lot and Europe is in a bigger problem than US also because the dependency on the Russian oil prices, oil and other commodity. So natural gas also, correct. So because of the Russia is in problem, but Russia is having their own problem. They are also trying to tackle that. Now China, China because of the zero COVID policy, what is happening? They literally brought their economy down. Now even I am not able to understand why it is happening and why they are having such a severe uh, COVID policy. You no, know, because you know to have a zero COVID policy, COVID uh, cases in China now, such a big country. Yeah, it's quite surprising you no know, it's very difficult to achieve but as yes, because of that they are shutting down their cities and because of that no uncertainty is prevailing across china now this if this type of policy or that no, they it will never give a boost a confidence boost to the manufacturer and the importer exporter of that country correct so china is also facing issues and because of all these three things of course, market is remaining in the pressure. But if you talk about specifically for India, now India, you know that 18,400 at Nifty level was our high. Now currently we are at around 16,300. So we are almost 10 to 12 percent down, which is not more. So that is a positive thing that we are able to hold our grounds even in a such a bad environment and such a uh, worse situation across the world. So currently what i feel i feel that yes 15000 whatever index we achieved at a lower level no will be a bottom hopefully we may not go from there down from there yes there may be again we may go down from 16300 to 16000 level because a pullback really whatever is happened in last one week is continuous unstoppable it is going up and up but let's see whether we are able to sustain. All depends on the energy prices and everything. Correct. And once again, the point is what in US they are saying that uh, US inflation, which touch around 9.1% uh, 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 in last two weeks. Correct. It may go down because the oil prices is going down. Even in Indian India scenario, inflation may go down because the currently oil prices are at a lower level. So if the inflation goes down that will be a boost for the indian economy also so if my suggestion is that at this level you can shoot you should start buying it even at even if it goes below 16000 or 5 15500 all this pro will provide you a good opportunity to enter in a stock select a good quality stock and do enter into it see reason is see indian stock market is remaining uh, no very strong compared to the world market now this premium is there because of the Indian economy. Of course, some of the sector like IT sector are having a pressure because if you see IT sector is down by almost 35%. But however, IT sector is directly linked with the Nasdaq and Nasdaq is being called as a mother of IT sector. Correct. So if the Nasdaq goes down, that is they are down, uh, uh, Apple, Google, Tesla, and Microsoft, all this goes down. Now, there is the full chance that our big, big uh, companies like TCS, Infosys may be impacted. And even the yesterday news was that, that Apple is going to cut down their production because of the slowdown in China. So all these having an added pressure on the IT industry. And currently it looks like IT industry I'm, I cannot say it is in a bear market, but it is in a downward trend. But this sector may provide you a very good opportunity for future. So once it goes on, you can start buying it and start mingling it because you know, this may give you a good level to enter. Okay. And other good uh, sector to invest is a banking stocks. Banking stocks, uh, if the sector is in a good pace, because you no know, understand the NPA cycle is over and now it's a rising rate scenario and whenever there is a rising rate scenario no bank get benefited the reason is whenever there is an increase in rate no that is increase in repo rate they will increase the loan rate at a faster rate but they will never increase the FD rates so that difference that is uh, uh, loan interest minus FD rate so is there basically profit correct so th that name that is net interest margin may expand and that will give you a uh, good benefit to the uh, banks 
so that's why banking sector is a good level to enter for my preference so in the banking sector is icici bank icici bank even uh, uh, you can say hdfc bank at the lower levels even at this level also it is good okay in auto stocks my preference is tata motors ashok leyland and tvs motor and if you want to go for fmcg hul even uh, dabar is good so these are some of the stock you can uh, look at it even reliance is looking good of course the reliance is down because of the windfall stack scenario and people are actually you know bringing that stock because you know that two weeks ago the uh, government has applied windfall tax on oil companies and that is why it is down however at this level you can enter because when the demerger happens it will be beneficial to you however other oil companies like ongc oil india is a avoid at this level because of the problem is that in this oil companies of the control is there of the government and that is a big hindrance so you have to keep this in mind so guys this is what my outlook for the current market is and uh, hope you like this video and hope you like the insights in it so if you want to remain in touch do subscribe this channel and i am going to conduct a free master class on the long term investing this you can so if you want just click the below link and do attend it i'll see you soon in the next video thank you